guys, tonight is the huge final matchup between Notre Dame and Michigan. And while the game may be happening far, far away, two locally owned bars are overflowing with fans tonight from both universities. So let's go inside and see which school has the most spirit. The largest crowd in the history of the game, 115,109. Sweet Caroline's and Battery Park are both Alumni Association approved game watch venues for Michigan and Notre Dame respectively. So tonight, it's no surprise that both venues are filled to the brim with school pride. Michigan football is a family thing for us and we don't miss it ever. One of our most memorable tailgates was actually our senior year in college at Ann Arbor. It was a 12 o'clock game and we got on campus tailgating at 6 a.m. We actually were tailgating next to the, the board of directors of Jim Beam, big Notre Dame fans. They gave us some bourbon. It was a great time. Are you here with a lot of people? Uh, yeah, a few hundred of my close friends. I'm so pumped. This is like the best place I've ever been on in Boston. big matchup at Michigan Stadium, marking the last time these two teams will play against each other for some time. Michigan has a great tradition, Notre Dame does. This year we have the better team we feel about it. It's sad to see it end. It's going to be sad to see it go. I hope they pick it back up because um, it's such a great tradition. It's come down to the wire a lot of times and you know, hopefully we can get the game back in a few years. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish and Michigan Wolverines first met back in 1887 with that showdown serving as the first football game ever played by Notre Dame. So with a game as important as this, which school brought out the most team spirit? In order to find out, we've tapped into one of Boston's most innovative new apps, SceneTap that allows people to view information on how many people are at a specific venue. What we do is we uh, tell you in real time how full a bar is, the male-female ratio and average age, and it's a free uh, mobile app for iPhone and Android. So the way it works is we actually install two sensors in the venue, uh, one that provides a count, and then the other uh, does what's called facial detection, uh, which does the age and gender for us. We launched back in uh, July of 2011, and uh, so far we're in 13 uh, U.S. markets. SceneTap launches in Boston in the next couple of weeks. What a great experience to watch fans from these great teams come together in such an enthusiastic way. And thanks to SceneTap for giving us an inside look into how robust these fans can party. For Dirty Water TV, this is Alexandra Betancourt.